eyebrows are serious. <laughs> we can see how to fucking eyebrow rises. The fucking eyebrow. Rocky tickled me. I'm buzzing here to see it, man. There's going to be about 600 extras here later. Good evening again. Now you better get a drink in your hand because you know what's coming up. So the name Ozzy Osbourne is something that I have known my entire life. My dad and my granddad first started playing me Sabbath when I was young. To find him bark at the moon at age 14, the Osbourne show, and to be honest, I think the first time I said fuck was because of him. Ozzy is the definition of a rock and roll star. Fact, underline it. He represents defiance to a world of, of regulation and normality. He taught me that it's okay to be mental. It's, he taught me that it's okay to be crazy. It's okay to be an outsider. It's all right to be different. Now, nah, fuck that, man. It's brilliant to be different. His music, his attitude is something that genuinely shaped me. It fucking did. Like, he was there when nobody else was, when everyone was like, this kid's a bit too mental. This kid's a bit too out there. Fucking Aussie was there, man. For me and millions of kids and fucking all of you. A lot of people say don't meet your heroes, but when I asked something of him as a man, not just as a rock star, he turned up for me. He was there when we didn't need to be. He gave me half of his fucking salami sandwich and a ginger beer. <laughs> and the cross I'm wearing around my neck tonight. It's just something I'll treasure forever. He told me never apologize for anything people will understand you later. And uh, I'll never forget that moment. Because it, like, it's all I fucking needed, no matter what. Like a proper rock and roll star saying that to me. It's such an un unbelievable honour. I can't fucking believe it. 13-year-old me is like shit in his pants. Uh, to be here today and um, to present Ozzy Osbourne. Ozzy fucking Osbourne, make some noise. The I He's here. Wait, I've got a set. Fucking hell, chill out. Fucking trigger, Affy. <laughs> fucking hell. Sadly, the man himself can't be here, as you know, he's unable to travel due to doctor's orders, and I think behalf of everyone saying that the party is just not as good. Um, but in his place, a close personal friend, a fucking legend, um, a friend of mine who's helped Ozzy, one, most importantly, stay alive, and two, become the biggest, one of the biggest rock and roll stars on the planet. So put your hands in the air, your drinks in the air, I want some fires, man. Sharon Osborne makes some fucking crazy. Yeah. But that's how it goes. Millions of people living this world. Maybe it's not too late to learn how to love and forget how to hate. You know that if you were covered, you were making an impact on what you love to do, which is music. And it's all Ozzy's ever known his entire life. And, excuse me. But... When Ozzy, when Ozzy first met Youngblood, he said, I've just met myself. And he just adores him. And I'm just so fucked up that he's not here tonight, but it means so much. And he's worked so hard his entire life to give back. And something that Dom just said about live entertaining. The worst thing for Ozzy is to put him in a studio because he's confined and he hates it. But he always manages to come out with a winner. What? For me? I always keep that with to be bring a good one. Thank you, honest man. Thank you, I will honour that man and cherish that. Just gave me his fucking necklace. You said cherish that, I'll bring you luck. Right, well, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's you.